are certain you remember nothing of this place. Oh, nothing that would help us. Tell me, brother, why exactly are we doing this? I do not know. Oh, that's comforting. Look, I know you expect more from the smartest man alive, but Odin always kept me in the dark about this place. Which is why I urged you to seek Freya's guidance. Repeatedly. She does not seem eager to speak with me. Well, quite the opposite, brother. But you tell yourself whatever you need to. I see a shore ahead. Black sand. Exactly as described in the invitation. We finally bloody made it. Something is happening. Back to basics, then. Well, that felt unsettling. Like we plunged into a dream. Doesn't seem anyone's here to welcome us. Locked. I don't suppose you'll take that as our cue to turn around and leave? Where are the CL4? Sinum Hautum. To be one's own master. Master thyself. A more poetic way of putting it, but yes. I may not appreciate our breaking in. <laughs> not the sort of foes I expected to encounter here. Curious. It's the way of this place to offer you a choice.
least you're not going in completely hobbled. Perhaps the last remaining pocket of Asgard. Something unreal about it, though. At least this part seems peaceful. We should have a look around. You truly believe Freya would have aided us in this? Aided us? Talk sense into you? Win-win either way, really? I certainly can't see how there's any benefit to avoiding her. I am not avoiding her. Brother, you've gone to bloody Valhalla to avoid her. At least be honest with yourself. It is not her I'm avoiding. I value Freya. Well, that I believe. And nice to hear you admit, frankly. I think she values you as well, in her way. She finds me useful. It is not the same. Is that really what you think? I do not believe she understands what she asks of me. Back outside. You marched into Valhalla without even talking to us first? Nice to see you too, milady. It was a personal matter. And I would not take you from your duties. You breached Valhalla. Consider it worth my time. This entrance is secret. Who told you of this place? Nailed to our door three days ago. Kratos of Sparta, you are hereby invited to a challenge. Face the past, face the future. Master Valhalla, master thyself. And then directions here, no signature. Who else knows of this entrance? Odin and us. It's likely a trap. You're thinking of going back in. Would you join me? Oh, don't let me intrude on your personal matter. Besides, I can't. Unlike the two of you, I've never died. What happens if I return inside? Well, that depends on you. Valhalla draws from the memories of those who enter. In there, you're an open book. 
Sure, you want to go back in? Hmm. How did you even get past the gate? I forced it open. With his bare hands. <sighs> he forced it open. There's an easier way if you insist on going back in. Come. Seagrin, maybe later we could continue with that one conversation then? For once, Mimir, I think you've said enough. Aye. Right then. And the other matter we discussed? You're still thinking, I take it? I am. Um... Is that what this is? Guess I'll let you think. My sister speak to you of Valhalla's rules and its values. What do you know of this place? The challenge of Valhalla is not merely about overcoming obstacles. It's about the way you overcome them, how you demonstrate mastery of your own powers. We can guide you down a path, but Valhalla will be the judge of your progress. Return to me when you've met a goal, and we will observe the effects. What have you to say? Valhalla seeks to foster wholeness and balance within those who enter. To fully master yourself, you can't rely on only your most familiar tactics. I use the tactics appropriate to the situation. Of course, but varying your approach will demonstrate to Valhalla the full mastery of your abilities, and Valhalla will reward such demonstrations. Be sure to come back and see me as you progress. I am ready. Air, Gunnar, with me. Now you can enter Valhalla by this gate, without suffering the penalty of breach. Thank you, Sibra. Any cursed feeling this time? No, all is well. Thank you, shield maidens. All right, let's try this whole thing again. Good show. New attempt, new choices to make. A fresh start.
is at odds between you and Sigrun? Did you anger her? I wouldn't say she's angry with me. Irritated, perhaps. Disappointed, certainly. Ah, but you needn't worry yourself, brother. I won't let it distract from whatever it is we're doing here. Not permitted that way, it seems, and no way to pry it open. So, this is no piece of Asgard at all. Just something spun from your memory of it. Fascinating. Brother, I must admit, Freya's idea does make quite a bit of sense to me. What better god of war could the realms ask for than the general who won Ragnarok? I won it trying to save lives. With you on board, our whole peacekeeping council could really do some good. This position, this title, I have held it before. You know what happened. She knows what happened. Of course we do. But why should who you used to be matter more than who you are now? Can't you see how far you have come? However far I have come, I have done it running from that life. That title, that throne. Aye. I suppose this is about how you remember your name, eh? I do agree with you about Freya's counsel. It is a noble idea. It should succeed on her merits. How is that, brother? Freya is known to the realms and native to them, respected by all, an experienced leader. 
Experienced enough to know that a shared power is best for the people. That she would share power proves she is worthy to me. Even so, I make her wield it alone. Without Odin, the realms have a chance to forge a new peace. When conflicts do arise and can't be talked through, a god of war ensures those conflicts have rules and enforces them. They need might and judgment and credibility across the realms. Who else would she pick, brother? Uh, must be another way out of here. This must be how you remember Spartalfheim. Heaven knows I would not refuse to aid her when in need. I have done and will do my part to fight for peace, regardless of title, regardless of whether I sit in authority. You know as well as I do, there's power in words, oaths. The people need to know you're committed to them and to yourself, that you'll be there for them, and I know that you will. I understand you've got misgivings, man, but you've put your past behind you. We all see it. You do not know everything that I am. That you were. You've told me of your past, and yes, much of it was horrible. But you've proven over and over again that you're not that man anymore. That is the path we seek. A way up and forward. Valhalla's inner reaches. I can feel it. If there's an upside to this Valhalla madness, at least it's good to see you in action again. 
You're already more your cheery self than I've seen in moons. Without a Atreus or a fight in front of you, I wonder after your well-being. Come back, Candy. I'm fine. What is this? You recognize your old seat, don't you? <laughs> Kratos. I have not forgotten the debt I owe you. This still feels reckless. Here they are now. That's odd. They're back outside, but we didn't... You know. Sometimes you reach as far as you're ready to go. Valhalla's decision, or yours? Hmm. Does this mean you're done in there? No. I will discover who invited me. I believe I am close. You're sure it's worth dying for? Oh, I think we're fairly accustomed to dying at this point. Don't be glib, Mimir. Valhalla restores you after honorable death in combat, but beyond that, it makes its own rules. And if you don't play by them... Kratos, the threat of death in there is real. That is... good to know. If by good, you mean wildly disconcerting. I do wish you luck. Truly. No mere destination. Take that to heart. Valhalla, where legends are made,
Look, brother, the fog's lifted. Valhalla's becoming more open to you, perhaps. So much to see in the distance there. You can see how all the little realm spaces connect to the higher plane. And those statues are certainly imposing. I recognize them. They are judges of the underworld. From my homeland. Ah, well, you sound thrilled to see them again. Souls they deemed righteous were granted entrance to the Elysium Fields. Those deemed wicked were cut it short. <laughs> 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 Midgard in memoriam. Yeah, I'm starting to see there's no fixed order to the realms we'll visit here. Brother, whose voice was that we heard when Valhalla sent us back from the throne? Also. Aye. Said he owes you a debt, was it? Someone who might lend us a hand, perhaps? Unlikely. He was a god of Greece, and we did not part on good terms. And by that you mean... Yes, I see. No shortage of bitter old ghosts in these parts. Mamir, let us talk later. I need to focus. Do what you need. <laughs> 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 Brother, that throne we saw, did you recognize it? Was it familiar? It was mine. The throne I took from Ares. It is a throne of monsters. Ah, the anxiety of power made manifest. A symbol you're no doubt meant to consider. It is a symbol I reject. That might not quite close the book on matters. A symbol can't be slain, destroyed, or ignored. The best measure is often to reclaim it, redefine it. Remind us, it's not the throne, but the god who sits in it. <laughs> the 
place is locked until we meet Valhalla's demands. Must be the other gate this time. <laughs> Two fights in a row now. Valhalla's demand for escalation. <laughs> <laughs> That was demanding. Carry on. Valhalla is a place of constant flux. Adaptability gives us the means to navigate the uncertainty. Before we go back in, perhaps we bargain with Valhalla. Don't let him off our chances. Chosen opponents get into your head, or else you'll fall to them again.
Why don't we talk about that image of you in the shrine we keep seeing? If Valhalla keeps pulling it out of your head, it must have some significance to you. Could it be that the idea of being loved and respected is a fair might better than the alternative? Now hear me out, and it's not as though I'm the smartest man alive or anything, but don't you think joining Freya's council could put you in a position to walk that path? To earn that path? That would be a poor reason to accept. Ambition is poison. back to that image of you on the shrine. I'll grant you ambition can be a poisonous motive, but your ambitions are only to help people, not for your own glory, right? Make the world a better, safer place. I think maybe that image of you is symbolic of your desire to walk a righteous path. Valhalla's little signpost. You are sure accepting Freya's offer is the right thing for me? Or for the realms? Cutting it short! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 